I'm Sabrina with the Two Minute MRLA News Now. As we wrap up 2018 and the current legislative session, we have an enormous victory to share with you. For the past 18 months, the MRLA has worked tirelessly on your behalf to make sure the restaurant and hospitality industry would not be crippled by two devastating proposals, Michigan One Fair Wage and Michigan Time to Care. Part of that work included sending the proposals to the legislature where they could be amended instead of ending up on the November ballot where no changes could be made. Earlier this month, Michigan's legislature made those amendments. Then we asked you to contact Governor Snyder and urge him to sign these amended proposals into law. Looks like your voices were heard. As of last Friday, the final step was accomplished when Governor Snyder signed SB 1171 and SB 1175, making them Public Act 368 and Public Act 369 of 2018. Along with saving Michigan's tip credit and protecting the state from one of the most burdensome paid sick leave mandates in the country, here's what else changed. For minimum wage, protecting Michigan's tip credit and keeping it at 38% of Michigan's full minimum wage, capping Michigan's minimum wage at 1205 by 2030, and removing the burdensome consumer price index provision. For paid sick leave, having a 50 employee threshold in place, so if you have under 50 employees, you are exempt. Removing a three day no call, no show provision, and removing a 90 day rebuttable presumption against employers provision. The final version also offers an exemption for employers with seasonal workers and an exemption for part time employees while taking additional steps to protect employers with tipped employees. Now that these proposals are law, here's what employers need to do become familiar with the details of both proposals. Visit www.mrla.org. Under the Advocacy tab, you can find information on both minimum wage and paid sick leave. What a way to end 2018. We'll see you next year. I'm Sabrina. Thank you for watching.